Hi, thanks for joining us. I'm your host, Marissa Monroy. A word of caution if you're planning to take your pets swimming in our local lakes, springs, or creeks. The city of Austin detected the presence of a harmful neurotoxin in an algae sample from the popular Barking Springs, a part of Barton Creek immediately downstream from Barton Springs Pool. Toxins have also been detected at the city's monitoring sites at Lady Bird Lake and at Emma Long Park. This toxin can be fatal to dogs and potentially harmful to people if ingested. Do not get in the water or allow your pets to swim in or drink the water if it is warm or stagnant, or if you see scum, film, or mats of algae. And remember, it's always a good idea for both people and pets to rinse off after going for a swim. For more information, visit austintexas.gov slash algae. Austin City Council unanimously passed items supporting access to reproductive health care, as well as the GRACE Act. When they attack our bodily autonomy, we will fight back. The GRACE Act stands for Guarding the Right to Abortion Care for Everyone. It effectively attempts to decriminalize abortion in Austin by preventing the use of city funds to investigate the procedure. It also makes the enforcement of criminal laws of this kind the lowest priority for Austin police. For more information, visit austintexas.gov slash council. For decades, the city of Austin has been a pioneer in sustainability efforts. Those efforts aren't slowing down. Austin is now the first city in the world to incorporate an environmental rating system into local policy. The initiative, named SITES, is a comprehensive system for creating sustainable and resilient land development projects. Future parks and recreation landscape projects will now follow these guidelines to make sure our green spaces support a healthy environment. To learn more about the City of Austin's Sites Project, visit the Office of the City Architect at leadatx.com. That's lead, L-E-E-D, A-T-X dot com. This summer and fall, passengers traveling through Austin Bergstrom International Airport will have a chance to view the Heart Gallery a new art installation in the Barbara Jordan Terminal that, well, has a lot of heart. Partnerships for Children, our mission is to support children, youth, and families affiliated with the child welfare system here in Central Texas. We just want to spread awareness about opportunities to kind of get involved. We really believe that, you know, we are partnerships for children, we are not partnership for children, and we have some core programs that we do that with. And the one we're here for today is the Heart Gallery, which is an adoption awareness initiative. We have mixed these beautiful portraits of the children who are taken entirely by volunteer photographers, and we partnered with our mentoring programs to get these kids who are served across all of our programs to be featured with their portrait, but also have some of their art featured to kind of showcase what Austin means to them and what music means to them and what it means to be a part of this community. Here at the airport, you have thousands of people from all over the country, all over the world, who might never consider going in an art gallery that view something here at the airport that might inspire them or make them feel better or might bring awareness to an important issue such as the Heart Gallery. This is the first time we've ever paired professional photographs with an original art piece created by the children themselves. And every photograph has a QR code that takes you to a page about the child. Participation can just mean learning more about children and learning more about this amazing program. The Texas Department of Family and Protective Services is actually the managing conservator for the children in foster care in the state of Texas. So all the children, children that you see here in these photos, we are responsible for finding them homes and making sure that they are cared for. Well, as of right now, we have 2,800 plus children who are currently searching for their forever home. We hope that people come by and see this and really see these children for who they are. And you know, we know that there's a perfect family out there for every one of these kids, and we hope that this helps them find it. Thanks to the airport's work with Partnerships for Children and the Texas Department of Family and Protective Services, this gallery will be on display for thousands of flyers to see each day at AUS through the fall. Visit partnershipsforchildren.org to learn more about the children and efforts to find them forever families. That's it for this week's City View. Thank you for watching, Austin. Be sure to catch up on all of the latest information on atxn.tv, our social media channels, and on our city webpage, austintexas.gov. Stay well, Austin.